Are you looking for a unique card making idea? You know, that card that just makes everybody go, wow. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have two unique card making ideas to share with you that you can use to create cards for Mother's Day or any other occasion. Now the cards in this video feature the best dressed designer series paper from Stampin' Up. However, keep in mind you can use any supplies you have on hand to create these cards. Just get creative with it. Okay, so first let me tell you a little bit about what supplies you will need to create these cards. So you're basically going to need to choose a color theme. Now I chose to use Purple Posy simply because it coordinates with the pattern paper that I'm using. So you can use any color, any pattern paper that you have on hand to create this shirt card. I highly recommend using kind of a smaller print pattern paper to create this card. You know, the larger the print, the louder your shirt will be. So try to choose a small pattern. And so you're going to want to cut a piece of paper that is five and a quarter by four inches. So that's what I have here. Then you will also need to cut another piece of cardstock that matches your pattern paper. So this piece is cut at the same size, five and a quarter by four. And then I just cut a piece of white cardstock for the inside of the card. And then you will also need a one half inch wide piece of cardstock that matches your pattern paper. This is going to be for the button down section of the shirt. And then this little piece of designer paper was just actually left over from cutting this off of a six by six inch piece of pattern paper. But we're gonna use that on the inside of the card. Now you will also need a layering die set. So I'm using the layering circles. And so I have a scallop circle and I have a regular circle. So this is how we're going to create the collar. And then the last thing you need is some type of stamp set. So I'm gonna be actually using the Happy Mother's Day sentiment from the Timeless Tulip stamp set. But if you are looking for a birthday card or you wanna create this for any other occasion, you can use any stamp set that you have on hand. And then the last thing you will need are just some pearls to do some embellishing on the card. All right, I think that's it, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some die cutting. So I have my die cutting platform here. So what I wanna show you is how to create the little collar on the top of the card. So that's this part here. We're gonna use a circular shape to cut this part out of our designer series paper. So now remember I told you we have two dies. We're going to actually just start with one. So I'm actually going to cut both of these pieces of paper at the same time. So I cut them the same size just to make it easier so that when I go to create the collar, this will all make sense in just a minute. When I go to create the collar, I have the exact same circular shape on my designer paper as I do on this cardstock piece that's underneath. So I'm just gonna lay my die right on the top like that. So you can move this up, you know, if you want a smaller collar or if you want just a, a wider top part for your shirt. You can really lay this anywhere you want. Just recognize that this is the piece that's going to cut out of this pattern paper when we run it through the embossing machine. So I'm just gonna lay my plastic plate on top and then I'm gonna run this through the embossing machine and cut out that section. Okay. So now that I've ran this through my embossing machine, these are the two pieces that it cut. And so this is what our designer paper looks like. So you can see I have a nice area for a collar here. So we're just gonna set this designer series paper to the side for now. And we're gonna focus on this cardstock piece. Now the reason I had you cut these both at the same time is so that we could create the collar. So since these pieces are exactly the same, when I line this up to create my collar, my collar piece, this small piece right here, this collar piece, will perfectly match up on my designer series paper. So that's why I recommend that you cut them both at the same time. So now we're gonna take this scallop circle and we're gonna create a little scalloped edge around our collar. Notice how this circle is slightly larger than the other circle die that I used, and that was done on purpose so that I would have enough room to be able to create just a small collar for my shirt. So now that I have this circle lined up here the way I want it, 
I can add my top plate and I can run this through my embossing machine. Okay, so let's take this off of here. And this piece we're not gonna use anymore, not for this card anyways. But now you can see I have a nice little collar that will fit right here on my shirt. Pretty cute, right? Okay, let's make the rest of the card. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to decorate this piece before we put together the rest of the card. So before I go and add that little collar, that little purple collar up on the top, I'm going to take a half inch wide, so this is a half inch wide piece of Purple Posy cardstock, and I'm just gonna kind of line it up in the middle. I just eyeball it so that it looks like it's running down the middle. And I just want to adhere that to the front of the shirt. And then I can just flip this over and just trim off the excess. That's the easiest way to adhere this piece. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add this little collar piece right across the top here. So the reason I added this first is so that the collar would go right over the top of this area where I'm going to put my buttons. Okay, so I'm going to add some liquid glue. I recommend using liquid glue um, simply because it'll give you a, a little bit of play as you adhere this on the top. Okay. Now we've created the little collar and the little button down section. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to take a piece of white cardstock and I want to adhere it behind this blouse just to kind of lighten this up a little bit because this will be adhered to a purple posy card base. Now this particular piece of cardstock is about one and a half inches wide and it's about four, a little less than four inches long. Because remember, this is four inches across, so I just want it to be a little bit shorter so that um, I can adhere it on the back of this card. All right, once you have all these pieces adhered to your designer paper, you can go ahead and adhere the entire thing to your card front. Okay, now let's decorate it. So I'm gonna add the buttons first, so I'm gonna show you a little trick here. So you wanna add the top button, now I'm just using pearls, and then you wanna add the bottom button, and then you wanna add the one in the middle, and you just kinda eyeball it, but it just makes it a little bit easier for spacing out the buttons if you add them in this order. Then the other thing I did is I cut out a little floral image, and I cut this out from one of the pattern papers in the designer series paper pack that I happen to be working with. So they have some beautiful florals in here. So I cut this one out for the front, and then I cut another one out for the inside of the card. I'll show you that in just a minute. So we'll just add that little floral image up at the top. And then I'm also going to add my little sentiments. So I use the one of the rectangular dies in the Stitched So Sweetly die set, and I just stamped the little Mother's Day sentiment on here and then I'm just popping it up on the card with a couple dimensionals. So that's pretty much it. Now I can also add a little pearl, string of pearls here for a pearl necklace, or I can just leave it plain. Um, it's pretty just as it is as well. So now the other thing I wanna show you is how to decorate the inside. So to decorate the inside, I'm gonna start with a five and a quarter by four inch piece of cardstock. And then I'm just using my leftover piece of designer paper from cutting this piece. So this is just three quarter by four inches. So I was using a six by six inch pack of designer paper. So when I cut this down to five and a quarter by four, I was left with this little piece that I'm just gonna decorate the inside with. And then for the finishing touch, I'm just gonna add a little floral image up at the top here. And again, I cut this out of the designer series paper pack. So there you go. Just a beautiful and just very unique card that you can give to your mom for Mother's Day or you can give to any female for their birthday or any other occasion. All you have to do is change out the sentiment or the greeting that you're using on the card. It's so pretty and so simple to do. All right, and here is just another design. So again, I used a very small pattern. Um, this is just a different color, obviously, that I'm using, but it's the same kind of concept for creating this one. I just changed out the colors 
and um, the pattern paper, but the concept for creating it is exactly the same as what I just shared with you. Okay, so there you go. Now you have two unique shirt card ideas that you can make with pretty much any supplies you have on hand. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.